Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing it really well. What a huge weekend of eBay sales. If I take you through the numbers, 35 items have sold since Friday afternoon, $1,412 in revenue. You'll see the fees, the postage, and the cost of goods there as well. Guys, it was a $748 profit weekend, which is an all-time record high. In this video, I'm gonna take you through some ways to increase your sales on the eBay platform. If you wanna try and make a few more sales, hopefully this video has got that info in there for you. Uh, I'm also gonna take you through 10 of those 35 items that sold as well. We're going to go and do that now. I'll see you back at the house. All right, guys, excuse the mess here. I've actually just listed all of these up this morning. A lot of them coming from my recent flea market video. If you haven't checked that one out, make sure you do. All of that was bought just yesterday. And um, we've got this one here as well. It's George Gently, a bit of media to take you through now with a few sales. Have you guys seen this DVD? Because uh, somebody's about to. It's ended up selling for $59.95, a great turnaround off a flea market purchase. I only paid the $5 for that one, and I'm always buying my box sets whenever I can see it. Speaking of box sets, we've got them all up here. I'm happy to report that this one here, South Park, it's ended up going on to sell as well. So this was a great little get here. If you have a look here, we've got seasons one to 16. So a really, really big bundle here. And uh, this one's gone on to sell for $105. So actually paid up for this. This was, believe it or not, at the tip shop, but all the discs were in great condition. And um, yeah, I ended up paying 40 bucks. So 40 into 105, about 20 bucks to ship it off. I'll make myself about a 30 to $35 profit on that one. So, uh, well, look, there was a heap of uh, DVDs sell, but they were definitely George and South Park, the best of the bunch. So we had a total of eight pairs of shoes sell over the week, and I've got two that I want to take you through here. The first one are these Puma footy boots. These are the Moment Eaters, and uh, I've bought them for $10 in a trip to the thrift episode a couple of weeks back, and they've gone on to sell for $49.95. So I really wanted to put these into the video today, given the time of year. It's currently mid-October. The footy seasons have finished here in Australia, yet these shoes are still going on to sell on eBay in about a two-week period. So I thought that was a really quick sell-through rate for what should have been a slightly longer one, um, but I really do think the footy boots year-round are a great item to be looking out for. So 10 into 50, I've made myself my $30 profit that I always like to make. And then the second pair that I wanted to have a chat about was actually a bit of a viewer shout out as well for Joe. Joe, who watches the channel pretty regularly. She's seen me pick up these in a trip to the thrift video and she had to have them. So she sent me a message, sent me an email and she said, Matt, what do I do to get my hands on these? And we ended up working out a deal of $150. So I'm really happy to get these ones done for Joe. Um, look, they're a really good pair of shoes. First time I've ever found the Doc Martens in the thrift. I only paid the $8 for these and they've never been worn. So for me to be able to sell them for $150, I think is awesome. I think Joe's still got a really great deal as well because they are worth a whole lot more than $150. Um, so yeah, just a great shoe to be looking out for and a big thank you to Joe for buying these off me in such a quick space of time. I was really happy that we were able to get 13 items of clothing sell over the weekend. The first one that I wanted to have a bit of a chat about with you on is the brand David Smith. Now, there it is there, David Smith. I've spoken about it quite a bit over the last few weeks on this channel. This is a brand new with tags, and it's actually got a $129.95 price tag on it as well. So no doubt a bolo brand for you guys to be adding to your list of clothing. But this one's gone on to sell for $50, which... Might sound like I'm underpricing it, considering it's $129.95, but I was only anticipating to get about half of the recommended retail price. I was going for about $65. Bucks. I took a really generous offer of $50, but no doubt, given the time of year, leading into the Christmas period, the brand new with tags are starting to sell really quickly for me, and I'm happy to take a best offer because I bought it for $6. bucks. i have turned it into $50. The main point of this one is to look out for David Smith because it goes on to sell for some great money. And then we also had a lovely viewer of the channel uh, go ahead and purchase this one. I believe the viewer's name was Ella, and I hope I've got that correct. Um, thank you very much to Ella for picking that one up. We've got a Harley Davidson sweater here. Now, it was a best offer scenario. We ended up going with $34.95 on this one. Look, I just think when you're out in the thrift, if you're seeing Harley Davidson of any kind, in any form of memorabilia or clothing, you should go ahead and pick it up. This one is in pretty good condition. It is, I think, a little bit older, too, from the looks of it. There's no date on it. Um, but it's, look, it's a size medium and it is in excellent condition. So again, another viewer purchase. Uh, I'm getting every now and again a few viewer uh, purchases come through, which is always great. Um, it's not what I, what I do these videos, but I'm always happy to facilitate if you guys see anything you like. So I'm um, really happy to get that one done, $34.95. Look out for Harley-Davidson, a really great brand. 
The next couple of items are these two that we've got right here. The first one is this RVCA pair of board shorts. They're actually a hybrid pair, so it's kind of a mix between a board short and a pair of casual shorts. They're a size 32 waist, but given the fact that we're now in the middle of October, leading into Christmas, people are starting to buy brand new more than ever. So um, I'm always looking for the stuff that is tagged when I'm in my local op shops. These were only $5, and I got a $32.50 sale price on those. So RVCA, it's a great brand. Look out for it, and always stick with brand new with tags these ones as well i bought these on thursday guys if you watch that video of a trip to the thrift we've got the moleskin rm williams here um these are a 36 waist a 32 length and i ended up getting 50 bucks for them straight away so many comps on ebay this is a really fast moving item the brand rm williams i personally really like to sell and i think a 50 dollar return was a good one i only paid I think it was $5 from memory for those. So a really quick profit, a good profit of about 35 bucks on those as well. And then a little later in this video, I'm gonna have a chat to you about these six tubs that I've been able to acquire because there's some very, very good uh, items to sell on eBay in them. And I have been listing a few of them up. Have a look at this. We've got a lot more media here, guys. And uh, I'm happy to report here as well that My Chemical Romance CD uh, has gone on to sell. So we've ended up getting a sale price for this thing for $39.99, if you can believe. It's just a standard album CD. We've got, what is it? I bought you my bullets, you bought me your love. And my Chemical Romance emo kids out there probably loving that for $39.99. So that will go padded into a little mailer and uh, it might cost me about five or six to ship off. So about a $30 profit on that one. Now, what you're probably thinking is where have you got all of this from, Matt? I've not seen these in any of your recent videos. Well, I've actually just done a consignment deal, but a little bit more on that later. Oh, all right, guys. I'm at the post office. We're going to go and drop these orders off. Um, 35 sales, all wrapped up and about to be sent off to some happy, happy buyers. Um, who would have thought, hey, the secret to selling on eBay, list items onto the platform. Wouldn't have known it myself. It took me a year to work that out, but uh, I spent the weekend, I had Winnie for the weekend, actually. Mum and Dad were away, and it meant that I had to stay home. I couldn't do too much. I was restricted. Restricted with a dog, albeit a very cute dog. Um, and I chose to list up items onto eBay, a little bit more than what I would normally do. I put 20 items up onto the store on Saturday, and I put 10 items up onto the store on Sunday. And then sure enough, 1,500 bucks in revenue comes through and we've had an all-time record weekend of $745 in profit. So oh, I've done nothing different. I've sourced the same items. You guys watch these videos and must think, man, this is so boring. The bloke literally just sources shoes. That's all he does. It's as simple as that. Find something that works, buy a whole heap of it, and then work really hard to list it up every single day into a platform like eBay with so many people out there looking for those sort of items, and you will get a return. You will make money from it. I think the biggest thing that I've learned is that you can really trust eBay. You can trust the platform if it can trust you. If you can get eBay to trust you, and the way of doing that is to list items up onto the store each day and remain a good customer service record, then it will give you the return that you're after. It's the minute you lapse and you get bored and you get tired and you don't see a return because you took a day off, that's when the returns don't come through. So simplicity is the discipline in listing every single day. And um, the return was really shown for me just then with that weekend of 35 sales. So we're here at the post office. I'm gonna go and drop them off. Plenty more to get done today. Stick around, like the video. I'll see you up in the post office. Winnie girl, hello Winnie. How are you cutie? How are ya? How's your day going? Hey? Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Come on. Come on, let's go. How are ya? How's your day been? Come on. So about a week ago, somebody messaged me on Instagram asking if I was interested in doing consignment. And I'm always interested in doing consignment, and uh, I really do think over time I've come to realize that it's more about what they actually have to sell. And what they had to sell was exactly what I like to sell. Uh, it was a bunch of shoes, there was some media, and there was some clothing. And I was very interested in what could be a pretty good deal. In the end, I cut a 35% deal with this person. So I take 35% of the profit after fees and postage, they take home 65%. So, that's a pretty good deal in their favor, considering all I have to do is bring me their stock and I'm gonna list it up and then ship it off for them. So 
I think the reason why I chose to do it like that was because I wanted to kind of build a relationship with this person. And I think if I do a really good job and I sell most of their stuff, the next time around when they come with more stock, I'll be able to bump my price up to 40, 45%. So anyway, I'm gonna show you it right now. There was so much cool stuff, but I've started to list it up and I've already sold a few items. So I'll show you some of the stuff and then how am I gonna go about doing it with all my other stuff that I'm personally trying to sell as well. Good girl, good girl. So like I said, it's all sort of stuff that I like to sell myself, which is a really big plus when it comes to doing consignment for people. This is the miscellaneous box, and there are a couple of shoes in here. She's got some Doc Martens of all things, which was really cool to see. They should go on to sell well, and they were a made in England as well. How cool is that, Winnie? We've got some Doc Martens, how cool. Um, we've also got a heap of shoes that I like to sell. So Converse, we've got New Balance, we've got Nike. Um, they're all in really great condition. These Jordans as well. We've got some Jordan London editions. Um, they've got all the MJ stats on the sole as well. So they're really cool. Um, and then we've got a bunch of media over here with DVDs. We've got some VHS, we've got Rambo. We've got, oh, oh that's really cool too. I wonder if that comps really well. Home Alone on VHS, um, some horror DVD box sets. And then we've got a bunch of clothing over here as well. So some brands that I like to personally sell myself. We've got some soccer jerseys right there with the Real Madrid. And then we've got the Harley Davidson motorcycles as well. So she had some really good stuff. And I think the key here with consignment is to make sure that you're getting consignment items that you know are going to go on a sell on eBay based on your experience. Because you don't want to be putting all this time and effort in to items that aren't actually going to go on to make a good return. So the minute I saw all of this sort of stuff before I agreed on it, I knew that I had to go ahead and commit to a 35%. Now, I wouldn't say that 35-65 is the best way to split a consignment deal. I think 50-50 is the fairest way to go about it. You guys should be communicating to friends and family, telling people what you do as an eBay reseller. You would be surprised at what can come your way when people know what you're up to. I did it on my own social media platforms throughout the week for the first time this week as well, and I had a resounding response. So people supportive of what I was doing and really just happy to see that I was doing something that I was passionate about. So um, I think that's a great place to start. I also think while it is sneaky, Facebook Marketplace could be a really great way to go about putting up a community post saying that you're happy to sell whatever. It might be shoes and you're happy to do it at a 50-50% split, but there are a couple of different avenues to get the ball rolling when it comes to consignment, but it's all about connections. It's all about who you know and just putting your name out there and telling people what you do. So um, I'm very interested to see how that's gonna go. I'm just skewing it up um, with, a, with a code and leaving it all there on the corner on the right-hand side. So when I see the skew code on my eBay sold item, uh, I'll know that it's one of the consignments and, and I'll go to that little area of the room and, and hopefully find it. Um, I won't individually sort of tub up the box numbers. I'll just I'll just do one general code. So that's how I'm going to split it. I'm also going to do probably five of the consignment and then five of my own listings every single day. I don't want to do more than 10 listings. I don't need to do more than 10 listings. I'm generally getting the numbers that I want on a weekly basis without having to go past 10. And um, I think that's manageable with everything else that I've got going on. So it's going to be five and five. I'm going to see how that goes. And um, hopefully these items can sell and I can get a good $1,800 in profit. But let me know in the comments below, have you done consignment yourself before? I'd be very, very interested to hear. And have you had success with it? Um, what's your number one tip for anyone out there that's looking to do consignment? Leave that in the comments below. Um, be a great way to get the ball rolling in the comments. Thanks very much, guys. Appreciate you being here. Trip to the Thrift on Thursday. Look forward to catching you there.